Jürgen, can we just check on the Emre Can's contract situation? How do you anticipate this all playing out now? Are you almost resigned to losing him next summer? When did we speak last time about that? Two not weeks ago? I've not asked you about that for a long, long and time. And you don't watch the, the press conference well, you're press on, conference on duty, yeah? As it's been developing, you know, it's getting to a worrying stage, isn't it? No. I, said, I think I said um, we could still sign a contract in May. So that's how it is. And um, it would be a transfer free player for us as well. <laughs> I suppose then, what do you have to do to persuade him that his future lies here? Persuading means? Persuade him, um, make him see that yeah, the best thing, the best option is Liverpool Football Club to stay at Liverpool Football Club. I think that's what we do all the time. That's what we try all the time. I said this before, not only about Emery, about all the players who uh, we want to keep and um, they think about if it makes sense for them or not. So um, that's the same thing. We have to be as attractive as possible as a club. And nobody wants to leave. And um, um, yeah, that's that didn't change since we spoke last time in the press conference about it. We have spoken a lot of times about Mo Salah, but as he's facing one of his former clubs this weekend and facing Chelsea for the first time as well, do you see a player with a point to prove? And what is it about him that has enabled him to develop the way he has since that disappointing time he had at Chelsea? A disappointing time? I, I, I really can't get it. It's, uh, he was very young. In a very strong team, and it didn't come through. That that happens very often. Another player with a similar situation is Kevin De Bruyne, so, <laughs> doing not too bad for City now. And um, things. Common like, thing there, though, <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it was difficult in these times to come in the team. They had already a fantastic offensive, um, um, especially offensive team, and um, so they were successful in these times. So that's a, nobody. Um, is to blame for that, and um, and f for sure not not more. And he took the next chance. He went on loan to F Florentina, I think. Um, made then the transfer to Rome, and then came to Liverpool. Though that's an interesting way, and um, he improved a lot for sure, especially uh, physical wise. So he was always a very good player. Um, I said a few times I saw him first time at Basel. He was already quick, <laughs> um, but that's um, been very long ago, and he, I don't think he has to prove something. I don't think that he sees it like that, because um, it's a completely normal situation. As a young boy, you go there, and you can come through it. You try to do it in a different way. He did it, and at the end, he succeeded. So he is at Liverpool. If he would have played better at Chelsea, or already better at Chelsea, we would not have him probably in this moment. So I'm happy about the situation. And what have you had to say to the players after the second half on Tuesday night? Who said it? Do you have to lift them again? I'm not sure I would to lift him. We, we are not, uh, sorry, in the kindergarten where we, are, we have to live for everything. Uh, it's, we, have to, we have to talk about the things. So, yes, we made mistakes. Yes, we were passive. That's what I said already after the game. Yeah, we, in a lot of situations, we were too deep as, as a group. Um, we didn't play football anymore. That's all true. But it still could have... Um, that the performance over 90 minutes with the 45 minutes in the first half, where I was already not that happy in the beginning about our football playing as we scored goals. We should have, could have scored the fourth one um, after fantastic play. Um, but that, that's how it is with games. In the end, the, the result is only one information. Uh, all, the, all the other things are, are, are um, we have much more information from, um, from a game. And so um, we are. Uh, we made the analyse, but that's already a go. It, it's, uh, it will be a different game against Chelsea, and especially it will be at Anfield. And if we can create a special atmosphere, then I would say it's, it would help us as well. And um, that's it. Jürgen, last season Chelsea ran away with the, the Premier League title. What have you made of the champions this season? Very good, still. Uh, maybe they, 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 they yeah. lost, uh, I would say, two very decisive player at least uh, they, with uh, Matic and <laughs> and um, Costa and Diego Costa and that's the that's the situation you you always have to then make a step not open, not back but aside and try to to develop the game everybody who thinks about playing Chelsea Chelsea last year um, it was uh, 
tuned side, everything worked um, in pretty much all the games, defended really well, and um, then they didn't need a lot of chances to win the games. It was then Hazard, Hazard and, and Costa who made very often a, um, good decisions, and if they didn't do it, then Pedro was there or William was there. So, they, apart from two players, they have still the same team, but it's, it's really difficult in this league to, to play the same season. Um, mm -hmm. Like you did it before, even especially when you lose players. And, um, so, but they are in the position probably they, they would have expected they are. Um, you, you cannot. Nobody has influence on a, on a situation of on, on the um, yeah, situation of Man City. So they, they are flying, and so nobody can so could so far um, cope with them. But um, I think it's still a fantastic football team, 100 percent. You said after the Sevilla game that your players don't have a problem with their mentality. Where, where are the issues, if, if you think there are any? Um, what, what needs to, to be uh, addressed? Do, do some of the players need to become more ruthless, do you think? I don't get the meaning of ruthless 100%, so I know what it means somehow, but um, it's, a, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's it's a kind of experience. We, are, we, are, we were not that often in an international game in a situation like this with the knowledge that with, with a win we are already through in the group. So it's for human beings it's quite normal to, to try to defend it somehow, but we've defended it in the wrong way. That's how it is, but we can, it may be, I don't think it's even your job to to make it like this and like that, and it's very good and it's very bad and stuff like this. So we had a lot of signs for a really good mentality, and now we have a sign for not a good mentality. What's true now? So, um, and I know the boys better than you do, and I, I know that we, that they really want it, but they they've chosen the wrong tools. That's easy uh, as that, and um, that's the that was the situation, and you, we couldn't change it until the three-two. Then we could change it. And, um, you saw the goals, how we conceded them, that was quite special, but it was not uh, only, it was not a single player, yes, in, in the end, the penalty was Alberto, of course, and, and with the free kick was Alberto, but it was not uh, um, like that, it was um, where we had the situation, why we had the situation, why we did play the back pass in the penalty situation, we played other back pass, we had the ball around the third goal again, and it was between play two players of us, one react quicker, and we shoot the ball to Betis, Sevilla, and um, and we, but we didn't do that, so they could score, they could shoot, penalty, um, corner kick, and uh, next goal. So it, it's all about us and how we felt in this situation. And you need, unfortunately, um, very often in life, you, you first need to make an experience um, and to to learn of it. Um, but of course, we knew before how it will work. But obviously, we couldn't do it in this game. That doesn't mean anything else. If I Gagan, are you, are you, how are you looking in terms of fitness and injuries at the moment? Joe Massive was in training yesterday, and Adam Alana, how is he shaping up at the moment? Yeah, Adam is on its way, no doubt about that. We have to see how we how we handle this now in the next few um, days and weeks. Um, Joel trained yesterday, first time with the team, yeah, and again we have to see as well um, how it. But uh, both give good signs, um, but not more in the moment, or nothing else to say about that in the moment. But. Um, Emery struggles a little bit, so uh, with a little, um, got in a strange situation in the game, a um, little muscle thing could be close. Or maybe he's a doubt, let me say it like this. Jürgen, it's a team game, we know, but sometimes it's individual errors and mistakes that can prove costly. How do you go about, I mean, how important is it for to allow players to make mistakes, to have poor performances and, and still you know, to be part of it. It's not about allowing, eh? it's about, it, it happens. Allowing to the yeah, 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 I know, it, it, hap it happens, and I'm, I'm really used to that, and that's how it is. Uh, um, and you, you cannot change it after that anymore, so you have to, you have to deal with it in, 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 this, in this world, especially, um, and, um, that you have to deal with it. But uh, in, in this case, I had a, I had a uh, talk, um, of course, uh, to Alberto, and I'm, I'm really happy about his shape. I'm really happy about his performances. Yes, and now in this game, it was obviously, and that's then really my responsibility. That could have done different things. Beyond, but obviously, it was difficult in Sevilla with all the circumstances. Everybody was talking to him, like to a, talking to a family member. Um, he left there, and a lot of people are still there, um, um, which he knows well, and that was. Um, 
yeah, if this one, two, three percent of concentration or whatever, you come a little bit too late and that's how it started. And my response would have been, yeah, think about a lineup or change or change earlier or whatever. So that's how it is. It's not, it's not a player, it's not a player to blame. And um, I'm 100 percent um, responsible for that. But um, I told him I, I still trust him 100 percent. So for me, the game is over. How you concede the goals is after the game not important anymore, only for the analyst, but not for uh, anything else. And um, so we know um, how we came in the situations, and um, that's what we have to change. On the positive side of things, how excited have you been by Liverpool's form recently, for the most part, in matches where you've been electrifying going forward in particular? How much does that excite you uh, as it points you towards what, you know, the remainder of the campaign? Well, maybe it looks differently, but I'm not so easy to to to, to excite. Actually, um, it's it, it's I, I'm I'm happy about things in the moment, but I know it's it, it, it's um, when I saw it, it's already gone. So um, we have to do it again and again and again and again. That's that's the thing, and that we have quality and skills and and potential in all parts, especially of the offensive game. I think there's no doubt about it. We have um, the width in the squad. We have a lot of things what we can do. Um, so that's all good. But as a team. We need to bring it all day and every day on the pitch. So, and that's our challenge. And um, yes, after the Southampton game, which was a really good one, everybody was really happy. And then you you play the Sevilla game. You have a f we didn't have a fantastic first half, but we have a fantastic result after the first half. What actually is enough because um, that's um, really okay. Uh, and then after second half, you you, you obviously. A few things coming are coming up again. You, you, people talk to you like this, and you feel immediately how how it's different. Nobody's really believing in us. It's always that I don't want to stray or use that word too often, but it, you can feel it. If we do good, it's like oh yes, it's good. But and if we don't do good, then ah okay, they proved it again. So and um, our job is to to stay really consistent and to be consistent in, in all these parts. And now it's Chelsea. So what a team. Uh, chairman of last year and and um, will be a really uh, tough job to do, but no problem. We have nothing else to do. And um, yeah, meeting them at 5:30 and beating them at 7:15. So if it's possible, and um, that's uh, that's the only thing. So I'm I'm happy about a lot of things, but we have to show it again. But it's definitely. I don't want to talk about this here. So if I have anything to say about that, I, I talk to the player first. So we, we will see. We will see. Just going to ask you, Jürgen, if, if Daniel Sturridge wanted to go on loan or to leave the club in January, would you let him? There's nothing to say here about it. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> but, come on, let's play it. So I say now. Um, a definitely a definite no in this world of football, funny enough. Eh? And or I say now yes, he could go. That would be funny as well. So it's a question where you cannot really expect an answer. If he wanted to play more and wanted to leave, would you have yeah, that's normal. That's normal that, you, that, that he wants to play more. Everybody, each player wants to play more. So that's there's no difference to all the other players. Okay, thanks, Danny. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you.